Hi guys, welcome to the next video, Ember Controllers. Now, we move on to the first video of this section that deals with storing application properties. Controllers in Ember.js are similar to components. They can encapsulate code, handle actions, and have properties. In addition, controllers can transition to different parts of the application and retrieve information from other controllers. In the near future, controllers will be completely replaced by components. However, until this happens, it's good to have some basic understanding on how controllers work. One advantage of a controller is storing properties. Controllers have properties that are stored in the application, which is unlike the model where properties are saved to the server. In this video, we'll take a look at a few different types of properties and how they can be displayed in a template. In a new application, we will run the Ember G Controller Application command. In this application, we'll be using the application controller to store all our properties. The next step is to update the application controller to add a new action and a few properties. For that, we will open the application.js file under the controllers folder. Here, we will add few lines of code. This controller has two properties. The first property contains a string. The second has a boolean value of true attached to it. The enter action displays a few alert boxes. Let's take a closer look at the enter action. When accessing properties in Ember, always use this.get and this.set. This guarantees that the property will be read or set correctly in Ember. In addition, we use this.get properties. This allows us to get multiple properties at once. It returns an object of those properties and their values. Another useful method is toggle property. This will take a boolean value and toggle it. In other words, a value of false will become true and vice versa. Be aware that you don't have to declare each property in the controller definition. Properties can be retrieved directly from the template and be manipulated. The prop1 property is retrieved from the template. It was never defined in the controller. If needed, you can set default property values. Let's save it. Now, we will update the template for the application to display the properties. We open the application.hbs file. Here, we will add few lines of code. The prop1 property is bound to the bracket input and input helper. By default, bracket input tags are one way. What this means is that the prop1 property is received from the controller when the template is rendered. It's copied over and changes to the property are not reflected back in the controller. On the other hand, input helpers are bound two-way. Any changes to the value in the input helper will be reflected in the controller. Let's save the changes. Let's start the Ember server using this command. Now we will update the values in the one-way input. We will now open the web browser and refresh the page. Even though the bracket input tag value is set to prop1, it's not changing the prop1 property elsewhere in the template. So let's type in 1, 2, 3, 4 and press enter. This is the message that you'll get. This is because the value is set to work only one way. The only way to change the value of prop1 in the controller is to send it as an action back to the controller from the template. This is the basis behind data down, actions up. Data is copied down to the template from the controller or component. Any changes to it are then sent back in an action to the parent component or controller. Keep this concept in mind as is becoming more and more popular in Ember. Next, we will update the values in the two-way input helper box. Let's enter 5, 6, 7, 8 and click on this button you'll get a dialog box. The two-way input helper updates all the values in the template because it's linked back to the controller. Any changes to the property in the template are reflected back in the controller because it's two-way bound. When the button is clicked, an action is triggered. It displays three alert boxes.